If you're able to hear what this video is saying right now, you are very close to being a one in a million exception to the masses of the world. I don't mean just hearing sounds coming out of my voice, but I mean hearing what is actually being said in this video. There are several easily demonstrated reverse miracles associated with what this video has to say, and I will demonstrate and explain them in this video. A reverse miracle is when something contradicts all known natural rules, but it does so in such a way that it has negative consequences instead of positive ones. Let me start by saying that I could spend hundreds, thousands, even millions of hours promoting almost any ridiculous concept, and just through the sheer weight of repetition, people would eventually start to believe what I am saying. This is more or less a natural law, like the law of gravity. Repeat something often enough and long enough, and people will start believing it. Pick almost any absurd teaching, and over time, with enough repetition, you will gradually gain followers, who would, in turn, be able to attract other followers. You might choose to teach that drinking your own urine will cure cancer, that the world and the universe were created by lizards, that trying to be good is the cause of all the evil in the world, that the earth is really a box, and we are bodiless forms of intelligence trapped inside it, that one day you will not be able to buy anything without first joining the Masons, or that a perfect pronunciation of some special name for God will bring you untold wealth. In fact, variations of these teachings have already been taught repetitiously for quite some time, and they are still being disseminated around the world, having attracted many thousands of followers. But there is one teaching which you could repeat a billion times and still have virtually nothing to show for it. This is my primary illustration of a reverse miracle. Resistance to this particular teaching would be so universal, so strong, so enduring, that nothing, neither force nor enticement, neither spectacle nor reason, neither plea nor endorsement, will cause people to hear and embrace it. That supernatural resistance, which is so contrary to how humans react to anything else that is preached repeatedly, millions of times over many years, is what I call a reverse miracle. The teaching I'm talking about, as you may have guessed, the one teaching that is supernaturally resisted all over the world, is the teaching that you must do all that you can to obey Jesus Christ. The one whose teachings are contained in the first four books of the New Testament. I am saying, as Jesus himself said, that you must seriously try to obey Him if you ever hope to obtain eternal salvation. That gift of love, forgiveness and eternal life that you may have heard so much about and that Jesus came to bring to the world. You will not receive the much vaunted eternal life that Jesus spoke of without accepting His teachings. He said so in many different ways and you never will accept the teachings of Jesus Christ without a supernatural, miraculous, one in a million transformation that only God can bring about in you or anyone else. Hearing and responding to what Jesus taught is the miracle, but it is so rare that the easiest way for me to illustrate this amazing phenomenon is by this concept of a reverse miracle that is, by identifying the evidence that you and millions of others like you will not accept what Jesus taught, despite overwhelming evidence to support His right to be heard. You are the victim, and sadly in most cases you are the willing victim, of a worldwide conspiracy against the teachings of Jesus. Most of you don't even know what He taught, and so you are certainly not trying to obey Him, or trying to teach others to obey Him as He instructed His real followers to do. I can illustrate just how universal this aversion to the teachings of Jesus is through a simple search here on YouTube. 
There is no way that I can manipulate the complex algorithms that control the powerful search engines here on YouTube, and yet they will back up what I am saying. Do a search for teachings of Jesus. Now, your search may be somewhat biased towards the kind of things that you most frequently watch on YouTube. And so the most reliable way to conduct this experiment would be to use a random computer at a public library, assuming that with so many different people using it, it has not been unduly biased towards any one particular ideology. Okay, so you do a search for teachings of Jesus. Take the first 10, 20, 50, or even a hundred YouTube channels that appear at the top of the search list. Go through them to see how many of them are actually promoting obedience to the teachings of Jesus. Between 10 and 20% of the videos that turn up will have words like hidden, secret, lost, or forbidden in the title. These are videos that do not promote the teachings of Jesus as contained in the four Gospels. They are virtually all about some newfangled teaching that people are trying to say is what Jesus really said, but which has been hidden from us through some conspiracy. Another 10 or 20 percent will be preachers talking about the teachings of Jesus, but basically doing the same as the esoteric apologists I just mentioned. They are telling you that Jesus didn't really mean what he said, and so they are rewriting it for you to make it more comfortable. On the other hand, about half of those videos that turn up on the first page will be replications of things that Jesus is recorded as having said in the Bible, usually excerpts from videos where Jesus is saying things that have been taken from the four Gospels. These are perfectly consistent with what you might expect if you were to do a search for the teachings of Jesus, and so I have no complaint with them. But what bothers me is the conspicuous absence of personal endorsements or applications of those teachings, as though they can and should be practiced today. They seem to be offered like museum pieces for people who want to know what this quaint historical figure said but who have no interest in actually obeying them or teaching anyone else to obey them. And then there are about 10% of the videos which are, in fact, promoting obedience to the teachings of Jesus. Some of you might think this is evidence that a reasonable percentage of people claiming to be Christians do, in fact, accept the authority of what Jesus taught and are trying to obey Him and teaching others to obey Him. But have a closer look. The video promoting the teachings of Jesus will either be from a voice in the desert, from this tiny, relatively insignificant little channel, or from one or more other channels which are associated with this channel. All of these channels have been produced by a mere handful of people, less than a hundred worldwide, who have all quit our jobs, sold our possessions, and pulled our resources in order to more effectively go into all the world teaching people to obey Jesus. Once again, we have a reverse miracle. YouTube, with its millions of videos on virtually any topic, represents a reasonable cross-section of the entire English-speaking world, and yet no one of any note crops up with an official statement of support for obedience to the teachings of Jesus. Instead, when the teachings of Jesus are mentioned, there is almost a deafening silence. This goes far beyond videos on YouTube. If you have ever tried to get others to listen to and acknowledge the truth in what Jesus taught, you will have experienced this reverse miracle in yet another form. People will noticeably move away from you, treating you with unjustified caution. Many of us have compared this total silence to a feeling that we have gone crazy, that we are living in an alien world, not able to communicate with anyone else around us, universally snubbed by everyone else, our families, our friends, everyone. This is that same deathly silence that came up in your search for the teachings of Jesus on YouTube. While billions of people around the world claim to believe that Jesus Christ is the Son of God, no one, 
Can you grasp the enormity of that reverse miracle? No one wants to talk about what he taught, except to say that he didn't mean what he is actually recorded as having said. You have a few brave souls who continue to print Bibles and who continue to release videos that include the sayings of Jesus from those same Bibles. But where are they saying, yes, let's start obeying those teachings today. They are from God and they are the key to eternal life. Let's do them just as he spoke them. Where are these people? For more than 40 years, my wife and I have searched the world looking for anyone else who wants to obey Jesus. Our search has largely been fruitless, despite having contacted directly or indirectly literally millions of people. Now, Jesus actually predicted this, and so we shouldn't be surprised. In fact, it gives further support to his supernatural knowledge of what would happen, of what is happening today. And he says that it is happening because of the unique nature of his message. He came with great wisdom. Wisdom which is universally praised even in today's godless world. His life was one of great compassion, including miraculous healings. And yet he was so hated in the end that the same masses who praised him also successfully clamored to have him tortured to death. Jesus further said, if people would do that to him then, they will do even worse to us now. He said that real faith would all but disappear throughout the whole world just before he returns. Listen friends, that is exactly where we are today. Forget about all the religious activity, real faith is virtually non-existent. Even those of you who would profess that you are an exception, almost certainly are not. You are still trapped under the weight of religious tradition, believing zealously in things that never came from anything that Jesus said. We've been trying to get people to obey Jesus for decades now. Tens of millions of people have heard our message, yet almost no one responds in obedience to Jesus. It's an absolute reverse miracle. We could literally be saying almost anything else and we would have more followers, more zealots out there on the streets telling you that God wants you to stand on your heads or that all you need to do is drink five gallons of water to obtain eternal life and we would have a worldwide movement happening by now. Let me give you another example of a reverse miracle. This is a video we released on this channel. It details how absolutely miraculous the first three Gospels, Matthew, Mark and Luke are. Miraculous to the point of baffling even the most rational scholars. These three books have been described as being the greatest literary mystery of all time. They are miraculously similar, literally word for word identical in many places, yet they are irrefutably unique independently written by three different men in three different locations over several decades without any of them apparently having direct access to what the other two wrote. A miracle of literally biblical proportions, which is right there as evidence before our eyes for anyone in this scientific and skeptical age to examine for themselves. And yet no one wants to even talk about it. Please watch that video. Do you see why I call it a reverse miracle? Do you see how the refusal to even mention this miracle in churches around the world is so astounding? Churches everywhere choose instead to heap praise on such comparatively trivial passages from ancient manuscripts as instructions on how to deal with mildew or sometimes contradictory census statistics in an effort to distract people away from those amazing three books. The same three books which contain the teachings of the Son of God preserved in a way that can only be described as miraculous. Or what about this video where the revelation of Jesus Christ actually predicts a reverse miracle which you can examine and test for yourself right now. I won't say too much about it or it could ruin the experiment, 
but please do check it out as yet another reverse miracle. Finally, there is another little challenge. In order to discover for yourself just how powerful this conspiracy is against the teachings of Jesus, go to the leaders of any church or Bible study group, preferably one that you have friendly relations with, so that they'll be less likely to take offense, and ask them if they could have a Bible study centered entirely around the teachings of Jesus for the express purpose of putting into practice the things that Jesus said. Watch their reaction. Chances are that you won't get them to agree to such a thing. But even if they do, just observe how much they say in support of what Jesus is recorded as having said and how much they try to explain it away. To tell you that what he really meant to say, but apparently was too stupid to say, is something quite different to what is written right there in the Bibles they read from week after week. I'm offering all of this as abundant evidence. Evidence to a skeptical world that there really is a supernatural conspiracy against this guy, Jesus, and it applies to virtually everything that he taught. At the moment, the easiest way to illustrate just how great Jesus is, is to point out the overwhelming evidence of stubborn, conscious, irrational resistance to all that he taught. A reverse miracle. But all of that may be changing. Jesus said that he would return after the world had heard what it is that he really taught. What he taught is out there in Bibles, but no one is urging anyone to read it, much less believe it. And certainly no one is urging anyone to obey those same teachings until now. His kingdom is coming, friends. Jesus told us to specifically pray for his kingdom to come and for his will to be done here on earth. Doesn't that sound a little odd? Why does God, the sovereign creator of the universe, need our prayers before his kingdom can come to earth? He needs it because his kingdom will never be forced onto anyone. He's looking for people who sincerely want to see his kingdom come. And until we want that more than life itself, it will not come. But like I said, for a very small handful of people, that is changing. We are starting to unite in favor of His kingdom and His will here on earth. But there is an impenetrable wall out there resisting the truths of the kingdom of heaven which Jesus taught. But if even two or three of us unite in prayer against that wall in order to get even the tiniest spark of light through to a world that has been shut up against everything that Jesus taught, a mighty revival of change can happen. Jesus said that he is going to return with an army of angels to judge the world and that he is going to be ashamed of any of us who have been ashamed of what he taught. It's almost certain that you are one of those people. Even when you read his teachings with what you think is the strongest possible desire to obey them, you'll find yourself rewriting them, trying to make them fit into your own selfish lifestyle. You'll try to make them revolve around the way you are presently doing things, centered around your family, your job, your special skills, your neighborhood, your church. In other words, your agenda. But Jesus is telling you to forsake them all, to turn loose, not just in your head, not just temporarily, not just allegorically, he is telling each of us today to do exactly what he asked people to do when he walked the earth. He is asking us to leave it all and to go into all the world in company with him and with others who are doing the same thing. Telling the world that this is how it works in the kingdom of heaven. We work for the king and he takes care of our material needs. This is the message of Jesus Christ and it is the message of this video. You almost certainly will miss it. But if you should happen to be the one in a million who actually hears it and recognizes it as coming from the creator of the universe, then please contact me. I'll try to put you in touch with someone in your general area of the world with whom you may be able to work. 
in spreading this great message throughout all the world. Our Lord has told us that when this message, the truth of what Jesus taught, has been heard throughout the whole world, then He will return. All those reverse miracles will turn into the greatest, most positive miracle of all history. Do you want to be a part of that? Let's join together in praying. Thy kingdom come, Lord Jesus, and Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Amen.